Okay, welcome back to the second part of today's task and we are going to be creating our typography style guide and just like we agreed in the previous uh, section these are the type uh, these are the typography styles we are going to be creating we agree that we are going to have a display a heading and a body type okay and they're going to have two style which is the regular and the bold now when it comes to heading we want to have six different scales that is h1 to h6 and for the body we want to have x small small base and large okay so i'm just going to come in here pick my text tool now let's type in let's just type in something let us uh, let us say typography uh, it doesn't matter just type in typography so we're going to start from the list so a quick tip here when designing your typography for web and mobile platform the least font you want to go with is 12 12 should be the smallest size so when we said extra small we want to make it 12 now the highest you can actually go should be around 56 for now okay later on you can go on and choose different font sizes that scale proportionately but for now we're just going to take things uh, uh gradually so let's go ahead and make this 12 because it's the smallest one so let's go ahead and call it 12 and like we said this regular here let's leave it as regular and for the spacing line height remember we explained what line height is once you're using 12 or 14 maintain 20 that is like additional 8 now when you're using 16 you move to 24 okay it's just a, a good rule of thumb just do this in the special typographic class you understand where we are getting all these maths from but for now just know that you have to add 8 to whatever number you have here to form your line height once you do this it's going to always appear clean okay so for the naming it's going to be type okay let me type it out here ctrl d for our naming, we are going to be using type slash style slash scale. Okay, so this is what we want to use for our naming convention so that Figma can actually help us arrange this appropriately. Type slash style slash scale. So for this one, I want to go ahead and call this. What is the type there? That should be our body. Okay slash regular okay slash and the scale there is extra small voila we've done that um let's go ahead now and let me go ahead and duplicate this remember ctrl d to duplicate you can just move it up a little bit and for this i'm going to add two to this so 12 plus 2 14 and let's still leave this at 20 like i said 12 and 14 just leave the line height at 20 okay so for this instead of body slash regular slash s small i'm just going to call it small now i'm going to duplicate this and we're going to have the normal one here which is 16 and once we are at 16 you want to move here to 24 that's uh 24 right 24 great and we want to change this to normal or base okay let's call it base although i think normal sounds better but let's leave it as base so ctrl d again move this up and we are going to go up to 18 okay so let's go with 18 and then let's call this large okay that's great so with this we've actually worked on the body now let's uh, bring this right here so right now i want you to duplicate this particular one and this particular one we are going to call h5 slash regular okay let's type it out h5 slash regular and i just want us to leave it uh, just as it is right here right now and then duplicate once you duplicate just move it up or okay let's move 20 let's go to 20 and once we are 20 let's make this 28 okay so that's plus 4 28 and let's call this h6 great uh sorry 
this is supposed to be h5 well this is supposed to be h6 sorry for that uh because you know remember we said it's going to range from h1 to h6 right so let's duplicate again so for this i want to just increase a little bit there to 24 and for this i want to go with 32 that is plus 4 32 okay and i'm going to call this h4 right so let's duplicate again and for this i just want to increase again to 28 and this is now going to be 36 okay 36 remember we are just incrementing by 4 so we're just going to call this one h3 and duplicate ctrl d and we're going to increase this one to 32 while this one increases to 40 that's the line height okay and we're going to call this h2 and second to the last ctrl d we have that one right here we're going to increase this one to 36 that's plus 4 and we're going to make here 44 okay so 44 right there so we're going to call this one h1 then we have this one ctrl d this will be the display okay let me just select everything i'm holding down shift to click to select them so let's make, let me bring it down a little bit and for this particular one i want to even instead of four i want to go plus eight that's to give me double and also here instead of plus four i want to go plus eight so i can have a good uh, error key and i'm going to call this one display regular okay now once we've done this it's actually very easy to create uh, the rest of the style so let me come here drop this right here okay so what i want you to do now we've created these ones we've created all the regular ones right we've created the styles and we've created the scale what we need to do now is select everything here and ctrl d to duplicate okay i can just move them somewhere here and what i want to do for these ones I want to go here where you have the regular and I want to make it bold. So you can see we have the bold ones here. Now, what you want to do is to start renaming them, changing these regulars to bold because that's the only uh, difference between the naming convention of this and these other ones. But there is a quick way to do this and that is simply by clicking on Ctrl R which is basically to replace okay so we're going to say match and rename to okay so we're going to match this um, place where we have regular so let's type in regular right there okay regular we're going to match regular and then we're going to replace it with bold okay remember control r that's like rename so once it comes up you are going to say i want to match so here where you have match you type in the keywords you want to locate right here and for us we want to locate all those regular so that we can change them to bold that's basically what we're doing so regular here and bold here and then click on rename you can see automatically we now have display bold display regular uh h1 bold and the rest of them now the most important thing for us to do right now is to go ahead and give this type a color and for our color, we want to use the darkest, you know, gray. So let's select everything. And under color, under fill, instead of selecting the color from here, let's click on this shade, this menu right here. And let's go down to new trials. And we want to scroll down to 900, okay? Let's click on it. And there you have it. We have our typographic color right here, okay? So the next thing now is to convert this to color. Usually you want to click on it and come to the style menu and click on plus, but there is a faster way to do this using a plugin, okay? So let's select everything again, okay? Make sure you select all the uh, uh, typography we just typed out. Then move to plugin and you want to go to your manage plugin and you want to search for textile generator okay textile generator textile generator 
okay that's it right there so once you see this this particular one you click on run okay then you say click generate textiles and it's going to do its magic voila it has done that okay so let's take a look at here now you can see we have all the textile from the body to h6 and what have you but what i want to do is to clean here up a little bit so let me select this display let me move it all the way up okay click on the h1 drag all the way up click on h2 drag all the way up and repeat the same until you have the body at the bottom okay so it's quite it just click hold drag okay click hold drag now we've made things a little bit more uh, easier to understand okay now again we've done this but we have not developed a documentation for it so to create a documentation for this all you need to do is to go back to this figma and look for plugin and go to manage plugin and you want to type in typography style guide typography style guide that is it right here so you want to click on it and click on, uh, and say run okay if you already have it installed you want to click on it and it's going to do its magic okay and create a new page for us with all the typography well documented amazing so this is it right here we have it right here so if you try scrolling in you're going to see how it has documented this properly for us the fonts uh, the, the the name of the typeface and style the size and the line height okay so what you want to do now is to select everything in on this page so select and select or you can do Control a since it's the only component on this particular page so i'm going to click on copy then i go to my style guide page okay and i want to click on paste right here i just want to organize things a little bit so i'm going to just drag it down somewhere here okay i just wanted to match up with this but we'll arrange all these things later don't worry and i want to go ahead and delete these two frames I, I don't think i need them right now okay so if you are here congratulations you've just created your first typography style and color styles now this is standard you've learned this no one can take it away from you once you want to create colors this is basically how you create colors fast okay this is how you create it and also typography styles this is how you create it fast so one more thing before we go let's go back to our cover page now so on our cover page we want to go ahead select this and instead of this color let's go ahead and click on this menu let's scroll down to our primary 500 and voila that is what i want you to do and congratulations you have completed task two what i want you to do now is to go to your explore and try creating different shapes just you know with the font styles we've created with the colors we've created you can just try out different things